Ibrahim Moga, who is Mogra, a Mogra. Uh, an imam. Ibrahim, good evening. Hello, good evening. What is the benefit to this world of religion? Well, for those who subscribe to any faith or any religion, uh, they would clearly say that it helps them to connect themselves with the Creator, uh, to receive uh, teachings and commandments from the Creator on how to live their lives. <clears throat> and Which it has Creator been with us this? for. Uh, well, there are lots of them, aren't there? How, so, uh, as a Muslim, I would say God is the Creator. Uh, and uh, different religious communities will reference God in uh, their own language or in the language of their scriptures. Mm -hmm. uh, but we all refer to the almighty creator who brought everything into existence. So he is the same God, whichever religion you go through. Yes, I would believe that uh, there is just one God uh, and the path that I have chosen to find him and to connect with him is Islam. So as a Muslim, I should live a life of kindness, of uh, compassion, and of care to fellow humanity and to all of God's creatures, and play my part in ensuring that uh, we okay. um, uh, do not harm any individual because we will be accountable to our Creator. So why isn't it working then? It's because of uh, the weaknesses of the followers of the religions. Uh, I believe all religions in the world teach us good things, uh, but sadly, some followers of uh, religion uh, either misunderstand the teachings or will misuse their teachings to try and justify but their that... evil ways, or will simply will, will simply disregard any teachings and do as they please. Well, so they you would respect just a, just a minute. Hang on, just a minute. I want to set this out in a proper way. Um, back about 800 years ago, we had the Crusades when the Christians went around trying to kill everybody that wasn't a Christian. Now we have this ridiculous outburst of Muslim hate against everybody, apparently, blaming teachers, wanting teachers to be uh, executed and, and, and stuff like this. So obviously you guys, priests... Uh, imams and, and every leader of every religion, you're not doing a very good job. Perhaps one could uh, look at it that way. I mean, we I can am. only do how much we can. We uh, definitely have a duty uh, to ensure that we teach the authentic, peaceful uh, teachings of our each of our religions uh, and uh, do our very best. Uh, and I'd be the first to condemn any Muslim who has threatened this particular teacher uh, with death threats. It is un-Islamic, it's unacceptable. And if I had a chance to sit them down, I would give them a piece of my mind and put them straight. Would you because accept a, a school has the right to not, not have religion in, and therefore if you want religion, you should go to a different school? Would you accept they're in the right and you shouldn't force it on them, any religion? It depends on the structure of the school. We have many schools where they are non-religious uh, in character, and we have schools that are faith schools. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the uh, non-religious uh, one. The non-religious schools are, are fine. I mean, we have uh, many of those, and many Muslim children, for example, attend those schools. Yeah, but you shouldn't but the force. Is, they shouldn't force their opinions on it and make it religious. No, it. it I, I can't quite understand what we mean by forcing them. I mean, a school has a duty of care, for example, for all its students and pupils to ensure mm. that they grow in an environment where uh, they will learn and they will be able to be themselves and bring their whole selves to school. Why? So, okay. Um, not their religious to, bit. If, yeah. if they Why them. do all religions, really, as far as I can see, treat women badly? I mean... Christianity doesn't treat women as badly as it used to, but it certainly used to. Uh, Islam goes on and they, do, you know, I had a, an imam in a studio once and my wife was in here and she went to shake his hand and he went, oh, no, 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 uh, which I found very rude, to be quite honest. So I think we should look at it holistically, the treatment of women uh, in Islam is very strongly emphasized. Unfortunately, Muslim people, uh, some of them, some of us, uh, fail to live by those standards. So, for example, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the best of you are those who are the best towards your women, your wives, your mothers, your daughters, sisters, uh, your female colleagues. 
then you are the best person. Uh, you cannot speak with them in a, a rude way, in an impolite way. You have to be mindful uh, that you have a duty uh, prescribed by God to treat okay. women but why, well. But why would, why would, I don't know whether you would refuse to uh, shake my wife's hand or not, but why do some, some Muslims want their women covered from head to foot because they don't want anyone to see them? So we have many uh, different rules within Islam and many different interpretations of how those rules are implemented. Uh, so we have one rule, for example, about physical contact between men and women who are not married to one another and between whom marriage is permissible. So, for example, if you have a situation of uh, myself being introduced to your wife uh, and she puts her hand out to shake, so some of the schools of Islam will say that that should not be done. Others will say uh, it's fine. Uh, and so because of those rules, um, different Muslims in different situations mm. will display a particular kind what? of uh, practice. What? Regarding the covering of uh, the... Mm. It still sounds very sexist to me, but still. what? Let me just ask this, just came into my head. Um, so regarding the... Uh, no, let me ask a question. Um, I don't know, have you got any children? I have, yes. Yeah. Um, what if one of your children came back and told you they were going to marry uh, this person um, who was not of your faith or origin? What would you say? So we have rules about marriage within Islam. Uh, Muslim men are allowed to marry Muslim women. Jewish women, Christian women, people of the book, as we refer to them, those who have received uh, divine scripture. Mm. Uh, so that, uh, I guess, is pretty much straightforward, but it's not just about uh, the it's religion. It doesn't compatible. work the other way around, though. You haven't answered, if the woman, the woman can't marry a non-Muslim. Yeah, but if it's, it's just not yeah. about compatibility of yeah. the religion, we have to look at the character of so the what indi should, individual. What? They could come home, yeah and say they found a Muslim girl, but if that character of that Muslim girl is not a good character, then clearly we would not be happy for our son, for example, to go ahead and, and marry someone who was displaying very bad characteristics. What would you do if they went ahead and got married or got together? I mean, most people have sex before they get married now. Something so like what, would, uh, what would you do? Yeah, I mean, we... Uh, we can't police our children. We can teach them. We can remind them of the teachings of the, the laws of Islam and hope that we do a good job of doing that and we can lead by example uh, and that they will practice what God requires of them. What uh, would you clearly. Yeah, okay. What would you say, first of all, to all those people who've been ringing up this teacher and the one in Bradford before who's gone into hiding, what would you Batley. say to them in Batley? What would you say to them... Uh, who are ringing up, threatening, and being appalling. I mean, w w how would you how would you deal with that if it was in your area? Yeah, I would say to them, stop this. This is unacceptable, uh, especially from an Islamic point of view. We are encouraged to dialogue and to discuss. Uh, you put your needs forward. You try and explain to the the school, for example, of what your needs are, mm. and you negotiate. This oh, is so you would try and pressurise the school. It's not for negotiation, though. It's up to the school. And if you don't want to send your kid there, don't send your kid there. It's not for you to negotiate, really, with the school, is no. it? No, I think there is scope for Well, this is where the problem happens. You get protests. No, not really. Not really. For example, um, I mean, of course, uh, any unruly or uh, illegal activities in and around the school premises is to be condemned. That's There's no room for that whatsoever. So um, what if I'm it's talking a non-religious is... school and mm -hmm. the headmistress doesn't want praying of any yeah. kind... And doesn't want to negotiate. And doesn't even. want to negotiate. Why should what she then? be threatened by yobbos who go on and say, oh, well, it's because of the almighty or whatever it yeah. is you call them. No, it's so. wrong. It's, it's wrong. It's mm. wrong for anyone. Uh, even if it's a, a, a gentleman who comes in and uh, utilizes uh, ways which are not uh, productive uh, in trying to... So you're to on the school the side. Teacher. You're basically right. on the hang school on, side on, in this. No, what I would what? say... What just, I would just say a minute, is because... Go on. Um, so I would, I would say to... Uh, if, if, for example, I was representing 
the case to the school that uh, provision should be made for Muslim children to be able to pray. I would explain to the head teacher as to how to it another works school, and mate. why it works. And if she said no, what would you? What if she said no? What then? Then? We're running out of time. Um, why? No, why, I don't. Why do Muslim countries hate gay people so much? I don't believe that's an accurate de depiction. Well, cer cer the, certain the, countries the, will hang them publicly. Uh, and they will throw them off buildings. They will make their lives absolutely hell. I mean, illegal, if I told you we were a yeah, gay couple, that's... I bet you wouldn't really want to talk to us. Oh, I'd be delighted to speak with you. I, it makes no difference to me. That is, uh, that is you, and that's your, that's who you are. So, if I, I was your to son you and as... told you I was gay, would you, uh, w would you condemn me wanting to get married to a person of the same sex or not? In Islam, same-sex marriage is not permissible. Why? Uh, what what are you frightened of? The, the, the rules of marriage are that a... Would you disown one, your son? One, No, I would not disown my son. I don't think that disowning uh, your son or your daughter for being gay is uh, required. Mm. What would is you required go to the wedding? To, the wedding cannot take place because in Islam, such a wedding is not yeah, recognized. You're, you're it has to be who, between a no, male and a female. No, but you live in Britain. You live in Britain. So if your son says, if you have a son... No, I, no, I, I don't think the fact that you live in Britain means you have to accept everything. Okay. That he wouldn't recognize the marriage is what I he's saying. He I, wouldn't recognize it. And he can get married. I, you can I go and get married in a, a registry alcohol, office. For example... Yeah. I, I wouldn't accept him mm. taking drugs, for example. So it's just the Where fact did that you, you live originally in Britain, come from? Uh, I came from Africa. Well, why did you come to this country where we find religion in many cases annoying? Why would you want to come and live in a country which is alien to all your religious views? No, I don't think it's alien to our religious well, views. I can assure I you we, it are is. A, we are a very multicultural and a multi faith society. But isn't it true to say Islam we, is trying to take over? That you would like uh, to see everybody. It, well, people are frightened for their lives because of blasphemy, which had been gone yeah. for hundreds of years. It's now back. You can die for blasphemy now if it's the certain religions. Well, you can't die. Well, the man in Batley yeah. is still his life is under threat. He's still in hiding. Yeah, as I said, that uh, such kind of behaviour is totally unacceptable. Yeah, we live in the UK. You, we have to you, live by the law. Yeah, but if your our country, if your son met a nice guy and was gay and wanted to get married, could get married here quite legally without a yeah, religious under wedding. under English law, yes. Under, under English law. Well, you law, live in England. Well, yes, in the under UK. English, uh, under English law, where we have provision Would for you accept it? gay people to be... I won't accept uh, uh, a marriage of my son with a man. Why are you uh, so small-minded? We live in the 21st century. Why are you living in the Middle Ages? I mean, we could we could make projections to say we'll be in the twenty third century, and uh, other kind of. Aren't there more important uh, things to you be worried about rather than people's uh, no, sex? Let me finish this point. Other kind of sexual sexual uh, uh, unions, which are regarded as unacceptable today. If a hundred years later they become acceptable, do we just begin to accept every and any kind of Can social union? Can I say union? to a man who is For supposed Muslims, to be intelligent, that is the most ridiculously stupid thing I've ever heard. No, no who knows I, what's I, going to be happening in the future? You can't. You know, it's stupid. If people no, no, are it, gay, I, I they're born making, that way, and people like no, you I'm, I'm making, should absolutely I'm a behave point. yourself and I'm accept making a people. Valid point. You wouldn't I'm even accept. A valid... No, you're not. You wouldn't even accept your own son if he was gay and wanted so, to have a gay so relationship. So if I give if I if I give a scenario, uh, a hypothetical there scenario, there is no scenario. Where, Why won't you accept the... gay people? Would you speak to your son if he came out? Obviously, you wouldn't recognise a wedding, of but course. would you speak to him again? Well, a lot of people of wouldn't, would they? He's, if he's my son, but of some people I would wouldn't. With some people wouldn't. Are you not that's slightly what, embarrassed in saying out? That you know, if my son got married, then the, I wouldn't recognise it. it. Will be terrible. I, and in the I future, would not Islamic law, he, he would, he I would not recognise his marriage, but he's still my son. I would not disown well, him. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yeah. Because if you'd said no, I wouldn't. You'd have been straight off. I can tell you. I'm, I'm getting sick of this religion trying to actually dictate to us how we live our lives. You are free. You are free to live your life as you please. The teacher in Batley isn't. I not think, in certain uh, countries, he wouldn't be. Uh, if, if anything, I think you seem to be dictating that people of religion should give up their religion and I'm live the way I'm dictating that people you. like you 
should actually demonstrate that you like living in a democracy. And if you don't like living in what is basically a secular country, why have you settled here? I said earlier on that this is a multicultural, multi-faith country where we have where you uh, can equal, worship no, anything have you like, rights. anyone you like, rights. anything you we like. Have you equal can rights. Do, yeah. We have our but you uh, don't freedom, have equal freedom of rights. religion. It's failed though, multiculturalism. Don't you, don't you think we've we've come to the conclusion that the separate strata of society? We used to have multiracialism where everyone was together but different races, but now we've got separate parallel societies, and that's not good for the mm. country, is it? No, what I don't we think need so. I think, I think is more intermarrying is between thriving. people who are Islamic and people who are not Islamic. And well, we more... have many examples of Muslims who have married non-Muslim people. But not if we you have happen many to examples. be gay. But it's changed a lot in 30 years, hasn't it? To how it and a lot of people in your position are not happy about that at all, are you? People are free to no, you're not make happy, their choices, you? but if if we are asking if you're asking me whether i would recognize uh, under the teachings of islam a same-sex marriage under islam it's not acceptable it's well, not it recognized be. under the law of our it. country the law of the country it, it is the, it, it accepts same-sex yeah. marriage tell me not this. In Christian yeah. just a minute tell me this is the law of the country more important than the law of your religion our religion says that you should obey and respect the law of the land in which You're you live. You're not answering the question. Except, yes except, or no. Is the law of this country more important or is the law of your religion more important? Just a yes or no answer will do. The law of the country is important until where it requires so you to your, go against So basically your religion God's is, well, there is no God. You don't know if there's a God or not. None of us do. He believes it. Huh? Well, he believes I do it. believe it. I, I believe very strongly, right. yes. Well, you, and, I, and you are in a demo democratic country. You may believe whatever you want, uh, and that's fine, as long as you don't try and, and push it on everybody else. I would never dream of doing that. My friend, yes, you're free you would. to. But on the school, would, you'd want to negotiate. Would. Which, if they yes, said, but, with well, the school, I would negotiate. But if she said no, you would still insist on negotiating. I would insist on negotiating well, not... to make sure that right, the pupils, the pupils' well-being is taken into account. That the school have a duty of care to all their children. If somebody doesn't want to pray, that's fine. If somebody wants to pray, then the school should ensure that they make provision well, they should without ensure disrupting. That the person doesn't go to that school. That's ridiculous. Do you have any ideas for peace in the Middle East with all the craziness going on now, which is also all related to this? It's what's tragic what's going on. It's uh, really heartbreaking. And so, uh, why do, as, why as do people in the beings, Middle East allow an organisation like Hamas to behave in the way it did? And does it's, it, yeah it's not just Hamas I mean you can look at governments also I mean, did our own well, government, government and how we have and how we have government, behaved aren't they, of Gaza, yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there we are. It, that's the that's the tragedy that yeah. uh, today humanity has failed to recognize the value of life uh, we have lost the ability to sit around a table and resolve our differences and we are very quick to but pick up arms and you, kill each other. You cannot resolve your differences because you wouldn't accept your son as being gay. What if you had a child, and this will be the last question, we're running right out of time. What if you had a child who was transgender and said, I'm sorry, but I wish to change my sex? How would you feel? There is provision within Muslim teachings about how we can facilitate that. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's, no, there's no challenge there in, in, the, in the sense that it's a yes or a no thing. We would sit down with the medical experts. We would sit down with the, uh, whoever is able to help make the decision well, they might which would be best that. suited for that individual. It seems to me that people like you, and it's the same with vicars and priests and rabbis and all of them, want to really control those people who believe. Mm. But uh, mm. we will agree to differ, sir. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, that's uh, Ibrahim uh, Mogra. Mogra.